that bridge is fucked up. Can't hear shit. Thank you. Hi there, everyone. I'm the guy with no game attack. And with the massive rise in popularity of character-based shooters in the last few years, it's led to most people wanting to know who is the best character, and who is the character that should be their main. But if you were to ask me this question of who is your main in any one particular game, for the most part my honest answer would have to be, I don't. I've just never been the sort of person to main one character. I've always liked the variety and trying to understand how all the characters work to try and get at least a good amount out of them. I've also just found that I'm never really a player who can ever maximise one thing. I prefer to understand a little about a lot rather than a lot about a little. And so you might find yourself asking why, in Apex Legends, not only do I have a main character, it's also a character that isn't necessarily the most played in the game. Because for me personally, my favourite character and my main in Apex Legends, especially for ranked, is Bloodhound. Bloodhound is a technological tracker which has an amazing kit, but this character doesn't seem to be favoured by a lot of players, and I'm slightly confused as to why. So I'd like to go over the reasons that I personally really enjoy this character. And the first one of those I want to go over is probably the most important one, and that is just how good Bloodhound's kit is. Bloodhound's tactical ability is their scan. This reveals enemy locations in real time, pretty much giving you a war hack for a short duration of time. This provides you with so much useful information. If you want to just find out if someone's lurking or camping in an area, you can use the scan to find it out. If another squad's pushed up on you and you want to single out any enemies that separate from the bulk of their squad, you can do that with this scan. And it also adds in a whole different aspect of mind games as well. If an enemy bloodhound scans you, you can scan them back to remind them, hey, I'm here, and they know that they no longer have the information advantage. So it's a bit of a cat and mouse game of who actually wants to push and who actually wants to commit to that fight. And it's a really useful tool. And it's also just really good for providing information to your team throughout a fight. If you've got one of your teammates down and you can pop this scan to work out is it safe to go for the revive and it also allows any of your other teammates who are alive to also see what's going on and so they might even be able to single out a high priority target. And just this alone is a really powerful ability. And then you get to their Beast of the Hunt Ultimate, where all of a sudden you become the ultimate hunter, where your vision becomes grayscaled, but enemies are highlighted in bright red with their footsteps shown to you at all times. And the cooldown of your scans is also decreased massively. This ultimate has so many benefits. Not only is it amazing for determining where targets are and keeping track of them really easily, especially through smoke. If the enemies try and retreat, you can pop this ultimate and you will know exactly where they're going as long as you have line of sight on them. But perhaps the most powerful use of this ultimate is to provide your team with constant information on the enemy positions. Because of the massive reduction in the cooldown of scans means that you can be every few seconds popping this and they will see exactly where all the enemies are. It is unbelievably powerful. One of the ways I personally prefer to use it is I'll have popped one scan and if a fight starts I use the ultimate to instantly cut down the cooldown so I can scan very quickly afterwards. I'll then get engaged and as soon as I get the slightest bit of downtime where I'm not in instantly required to shoot at an enemy or heal, I can pop the scan and get more information and decide are there any high priority targets that I can risk pushing up against. And it's just such a powerful ultimate, especially if you've got a healer character on your team. They will be able to work out where the other enemies are and work out is it safe to go for a revive or to try and heal one of their teammates. There's just so much information you can get from this. And that's probably why I like this character so much, is it gives you such an information advantage over all the other teams that allows you to outmaneuver them and single out the weak enemies. What's more, this ultimate also gives you a major speed boost, which means you can use it aggressively and also to evade gunfire. If you just want to confuse your enemies and just run around as fast as possible using the movement to try and evade their gunfire, it is an incredible ultimate for that. As well as firing the scans up as you're going through it, you'll know where the enemies are and it just leads to confuse them. And it's so, so powerful. I've had so many fun fights where I've just popped this ultimate and had such an information advantage that it almost makes you feel like you're in a flow state constantly. You've just got so much more information than everyone else. You can just prioritize what you're doing and who is the main target so much better than the other teams. And with the constant use of your scans, you can also make them play considerably more defensively because they know that they are at that information disadvantage. Another useful bit of Bloodhound's kit is their ability to use survey beacons so you can find out where the rings are closing into, which allows your team to obviously reposition earlier and yet again gives you more information onto whether you should engage a particular fight, which yet again 
is just power to your team. The second reason is perhaps less of an important reason, but it's one that is definitely fun for me, is that this character also just has a really cool backstory. The Old Ways story CGI was really cool, and this character overall just has a really cool backstory, really cool aesthetic, and this means that coupled with the sound and the aesthetic use of their abilities, means that it's a lot more easier for me to immerse myself within this character, which may well also improve my performance and make me enjoy playing them more. Which, as we all know, if you're enjoying what you're doing, you're likely to do better at it. And the third reason, maybe some people would consider this the most important one, but I'd just like to gloss over that, is that Bloodhound may or may not be really good for ranking up. There are unconfirmed reports that scanning enemies may give you an assist even if you deal zero damage. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, this is totally not the reason that I have a ridiculous assist rate. It's, it's just coincidence. Like, no, just play Bloodhound normally. They're really, really good. But as you can hopefully tell, the reason that I love using this character and the reason I'm surprised that they aren't used more is that they just provide so much benefit to your team. Your kit has almost everything. The one thing your kit doesn't have is the ability to instantly stop taking damage, such as Wraith or Fraps and Gibraltar Shield. Bloodhound doesn't have one of those abilities, but they have the ability to provide information either for defensive or offensive use. They've got an ultimate which allows them to see through smoke and see their enemies that are in line of sight. Also detecting people that are trying to hide in bushes or hide in really obscure spots that you otherwise wouldn't see. Then they also have a speed boost which yet again can be used to attack enemies or to evade and confuse the other squads. This character just brings so much and has so much versatility in the way you can use their kit that it's just my default and it's the character I enjoy playing the most because I feel like I can do anything as long as I'm not playing like the absolute potato that I am sometimes. But I'm interested here why maybe you don't like to play this character. I personally think they're one of the best characters in the game and so I would be interested to see why players decide to actually main other characters. If you have enjoyed the video please do drop a like and do subscribe if you want to see more of them. I've been the guy with no gamer tag and I'll see you on another video. And what what were your like kills and assists on that? Five and four. <laughs> four and eight. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just an assist machine. I know, mate. Cheesing <laughs> <laughs> <Jeezing> scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> it's why you play Bloodhound. Also, I'm a good Bloodhound, but <laughs> you are a good Bloodhound. I have to give you that. I'm also a very cheesy Bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs>